Joining me now is Kevin Vada. He is a MAT specialist. So we're going to talk about MAT real quickly and see exactly what that is. It's not something new. It's been going around for a little bit of time, but it's yes. kind of new to the area. So tell us first what an MAT is. Yes. So MAT stands for Muscle Activation Techniques. Uh, I'm a certified specialist through the organization that's been around for a little over 15 years now. Um, we look at the muscular system a little different uh, than your traditional personal trainers or, or other therapies out there. Uh, we look at tightness as being secondary to a weakness instead of the tightness being the primary issue. All right, so we're looking at different ways to recognize pain and, or perhaps an injury mm -hmm. and then treat things in a different way. So you work with athletic injuries, muscular, mm -hmm. skeletal injuries, even some MS and spinal injuries. Yes, yes. Right. Now, in a perfect world, uh, we would see the individuals before they experience any kind of tissue trauma or pain like that shows up um, because it is an amazing preventative tool. Mm -hmm. The better your muscular system is contracting, uh, the less tightness, the more ease of mo motion there's going to be, uh, the less likely you are to hurt yourself. Um, so with athletes, it's usually athletic performance, injury recovery, or prevention of injuries. Uh, with our MS clients, we've had some amazing results. Uh, cerebral palsy clients, we've had some amazing results. And these individuals that already have uh, pretty taxing conditions going on in their body from a neuromuscular standpoint, uh, we're able to actually make sure that the muscles that they are able to officially con control can actually contract the way they need them to contract. Right, so, uh, so let's go through the process. Because sure. it's, it's kind of it's a multi-level process. You have it several is. assessment tools and then the, the goal behind it. And I know there's multiple studies that suggest that this is helpful in these areas. Mm -hmm. So talk about the different tools you have and what you would do with me if I had an injury. Okay, so all clients come in. So if we said you had an injury, mm -hmm. uh, my job as an MET specialist is to stay as far away from that injury as I can. Uh, we've got a team of other healthcare professionals that deal specifically with those injuries. We would address the muscular system distal to that injury or further away from that injury in the hopes that by creating a more stable environment with the muscular system, that injury would start to heal itself. Um, so you would be on a massage table mm -hmm. uh, and we would compare range of motion. So can you uh, raise one arm just as far up as you can raise the other arm? If one goes farther than the other, that's an indicator where there could be this potential muscular inhibition uh, showing up, meaning as one muscle shortens, it doesn't communicate to the opposing muscles and those muscles tighten up to protect that joint. Okay. Uh, what we do, so we use the range of motion, the CAM, uh, to find those asymmetries, uh, and then we use uh, a very uh, array of other tools to figure out if those muscles are not firing the way they need to. Once we find those muscles that aren't firing, we use what we call uh, DFMAT or digital force application to muscle attachment to re innervate or re excite. Uh, the muscle spindles in that tissue so that that muscle starts to send a signal again and then the tight muscle will relax and they're actually able to, under their own power, move into that position. So, and this amazing. is different than what, uh, what else is going on. Like uh, there's physical therapy has their portion of it, the massage therapist has their portion of it, there's effrelage, there's everything else in there different. It's a different approach because totally. it re recognizes the injury differently, right? Correct, correct. And again, we don't address the injury. Uh, I've got a team of PTs that work outside of fitness tech uh, that we refer to on a regular basis because we recognize that we are just personal trainers that specialize in this really specific type of training technique. Um, and it has an amazing tool and the PTs and chiros and doctors, all the, all the different modalities out there have started to recognize that, okay, here's this, this piece that we haven't addressed yet uh, that MET is making a big difference with. Wow. Okay, so when the doctor's doing this, are you in the middle of that process or you're after they do the, the injury fix or do you think it's kind of a hand-in-hand -hand process where you go down the road? With most of the doctors we work with, it's hand-in-hand. -hand. Uh, they'll be working with that client and they'll see something come up that they think is more muscular-based with this inhibition tightness being second to the weakness. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll work closely with them and progress that, progress that client. All right. yeah. So let's go backwards a little bit. Let's sure. talk about uh, the mechanisms that you're thinking it makes a difference in because it's kind of a little different thought patterns. We always think it if is. there's an injury pattern, we go to the injury, we work mm -hmm. on the injury. You're talking about working around the injuries mm -hmm. in the muscles itself. So theory behind that. Sure. So if I have, let's say, one of my quad, the muscles that are on top of my leg mm -hmm. uh, that aren't firing efficiently, then my hamstrings uh, would then tighten up to protect that quad muscle, my knee, my hip, my foot. Now, we're designed to be able to move and compensate. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we step out in the road and our quad isn't firing, our brain is going to overload that and allow us to get out of the way of the bus to survive. What happens though, because that is a short-term compensation, as we add in our sedentary lifestyles, the emotional stress, the chemical stress, the mechanical stress that we're under, those things start to layer on top of each other. And before we know it, our movement patterns have started to change. Mm -hmm. So then we've got altered mechanics uh, and tissue will start to break down. 
if we can start to, I describe it to my clients like peeling back the layers of an onion. Mm -hmm. You know, first session we're taking off the first layer, then you know we're working deeper and deeper. If we can start to peel back those layers and give them more muscles uh, to step into that road with in the first place, then they're going to be able to better compensate to get out of the way of the bus. Excellent. All right. So fitness tech's uh, been around for a little bit of time. There's actually yeah. multiple locations. There you is. work at multiple There's. locations I do. as well. I do. Uh, anyone specific that they would have to go to to see or is it pretty much any place? No, pretty much. We've got the uh, one Pinellas location and then the two in Hillsborough County. Um, nope. I've got a set schedule at all three of those locations. And then we have a team of specialists. This is just not myself. Mm -hmm. We've got another a team of uh, other MET specialists and MET jump start specialists. Uh, and if it's something that we that isn't muscular system, we've got another team of healthcare professionals that we actively refer out to. All right. Well, Kevin Vada, thank you so much for your time for explaining muscle activating techniques, MAT from yes. Fitness Tech. Thanks yes. so much for joining us.